Hi, Gator is with Majestic Rider. So today me and Porkchop are going to teach you um, about the mounting block. Most of these horses come in from Kentucky, um, uh, Tennessee, Illinois, it's all over the place. And for some reason, they don't stand at mounting blocks. Apparently, they have all athletic people that ride them and they just jump on and go. So I want to teach all the horses to stand at the mounting blocks. And I do this over and over again with almost every single one of them, because none of them know. So they don't know what the mounting block is. They don't really understand it. And all they know is when you put your foot in the stirrup, they're supposed to go. So off they go. So what we're trying to do is make them understand that if you stand still, it'll all be much nicer. If you move, it's all going to be bad. So make the good thing easy, standing by the mounting block, make moving away a hard thing. So uh, some of the horses, you can back them up, especially if they don't know how to back up. That's a good thing to teach them while you're doing it. But when what you do is you bring them up to the mounting block, they start moving away, back them up. Don't back them up five feet, back them up 20 feet. Bring them back up to the mounting block. If that doesn't work, back them up 50 feet. If that does, then bring them back to the mounting block. If they won't stand there, back them up 100 feet, so on until they figure out. If you have a horse that you think might rear up, or it tends to run backwards when it's confused, then don't do that because that'll just confuse it more, okay? And you don't want to scare it. Um, so a lot of times, the other thing I will do is disengage the horse's hindquarters. That's also called the turn on the forehand, where their front feet are planted and I make the back end move around. It's, I'm going to have to teach it under saddle because most of these horses don't know it anyhow. So I want to get two things done at the same time. Who doesn't? Like, let's get more training in at the same time. So what I do is I bring them up to the mounting block, stand them there. If they move, then I just go away from the mounting block, disengage their hindquarters. If they stand there, I get up on the mounting block. If they move, once I stand up on the mounting block, even if they just swing their hindquarter off, I jump down and I immediately take them away from the mounting block and start disengaging their hindquarters. Now my iPhone decided to shut itself off. So Porkchop over here is pretty smart and got it pretty quick. So now he's just standing there, but I'm still gonna show you. So we're gonna pretend I brought him up to the mounting block, right? And then when I went to get on, I got up here, he swung his hindquarters away or he started backing up, okay? So immediately, as quick as you can, jump down, take him away from the mounting block, and I'm gonna spin his hindquarters around. So I walk towards his hindquarters, I get a dominant position, I lean down, and you try to do this pretty fast. I'm not doing it that fast now because he's been good at it. He's been good at the mounting block, so I don't want to torture him. Now I'm gonna go the other way because I want to do that on both sides. So lean down, go towards their hindquarters, make sure they're crossing their legs over and hold their front end still so they're pivoting around it. Good. Now I'm going to go back to the mounting block. So you got to bring your energy back down. Oops. And good boy. So at the mounting block, I might give them a little cookie. But I, don't, I only do that when I know they're actually going to stand here. So not that first time. leg up on them if you can okay 
if they're too big, you can just lean on them. But you're always ready to push yourself back and bring your leg off if they start moving. Okay? But otherwise, you could just lean over them. Now he moved, didn't he? Okay, so poor chop, let's push that around again. Now I'm going to stretch him. Now he moved away, didn't he? I'm leaning on him and he's just got to know it's okay so he's doing okay so I'm gonna reward him for it see if you stand there you get a cookie. now remember he might not have ever had this done in his life sometimes they're not saddle broke that well they're not trained well and they just don't understand and then once they understand they're much better with it his neck. So I'm going to let him stand here for a while. Now, he moved a little bit and he's moving. Now he doesn't know. He's like, what did I do? Well, he moved. He's supposed to stay perfectly still. I can't tell. Hey, poor child. You're supposed to stay perfectly still, but I can show you if you move. Spin you around. If they kick the mounting block or something, whatever, it's also desensitizing. So see there, he slipped a little bit and he got scared. Okay, so now we calm back down. Now we come back over. He's like, I don't know about this. Good job! Good job! So again, first I'm going to test and I'm going to just go up here and lean. try to do this after I work them so I took them on a trail ride first so do it when they're a little bit more tired in the beginning you just might have to have somebody hold them when you get on or you might have to jump up there if you're good at it and then come back do this at the barn remember make the barn bad do this over and over again okay see if it was done right they wouldn't care about this Maybe he just has to remember, maybe it was done, and it was just a long time ago, because he's 11. All right, so he's doing a good job, right? Good job, buddy. He's so good. You make a big fuss. Good job. What a good boy. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, um, you want to teach him to stand still at the mountain block before you get to style
trying to teach, when your horse is doing something wrong, and I know you've heard this over and over again, you're like, oh my God, make the right thing easy and the wrong thing hard. Yes. So you just have to think about what things are hard. Backing up is hard for the horse. Backing up in a circle or a square is hard for the horse. Side passing is hard for the horse. Turn on the forehands are hard for the horse. Turn on the haunches are hard for the horse. Any of those things are hard. Things that are not hard, rearing up, kicking out, bucking out, those things are easy for them, okay? Once the horse understands that, they will take the easy road out, unless it's a very bad horse, um, or very dominant horse. But sometimes it's the person, and so you got to get the right person for the right horse so they can handle each other. And so you might need a trainer to help you, and if you can't handle your horse, you might just have to stay with your trainer forever. But if that's the horse you want, then that just might be the answer, and it's better to spend the money on the trainer than it is on the hospital bill. So hopefully that'll help some of you. Um, I do this, you know, pretty early on when I get the new horses because of course you want to be able to get on them. So you might as well spend the time, get it done right, so you don't end up putting your foot in the stirrup and they move and you fall over and land on your back or crack your head. Or, you know, you're getting on the trail ride and they all get antsy then. Even the ones that are perfect can get antsy. So you want to be able to like know there's something you can do to help you to get on instead of everybody watching you around the arena um, laughing because again it's a kind of funny game for the horses to play and they try to play it with most people until they figure out they can't play it with you. <laughs>